Hello everyone, I'm Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, in today's video, I'm going to be revealing the 10 must-haves you have to have in order to run your notary signing agent business. So let's get right into it. So the number one thing that you are going to need is supplies. Okay, I have two videos that tell you what I carry in my notary bag and everything that I purchase in the beginning of my notary signing agent business. We have to get a lot of supplies. We have to get a specific printer. We have to have a laptop. We have to have a stamp, a journal, etc., etc. Okay, so the number one thing that you have to get are supplies. All right, the next thing that is a must have is a background check. All right, so. On the National Notary Association's website, they actually have a package deal where you can purchase the notary signing agent exam and the background check for $70, all right? In order to be a certified notary signing agent, you have to take the notary signing agent exam. So just purchase the notary signing agent exam along with the background check and you'll, you're killing two birds with one stone, all right? The third thing that you must have is ENO insurance. And if you don't know what ENO insurance is, ENO insurance is errors and omissions insurance. Why is that such a ton tongue twister for me? Error and omission insurance, okay? And that basically is um, insurance to cover you in case you make any mistakes or someone tries to sue you. That they have policies that range from $10,000 up to $1 million. Um, the number one question I get asked is how much you know insurance should I purchase and honestly that really depends it, re it depends on you it depends on where you're located if you're full-time or part-time um, the companies that you're working with like for an example I um, purchased a one million dollar you know insurance policy but and the how I decided on purchasing that was I am located in the Bay Area and most of the homes that I'm dealing with or most of the loans that I'm dealing with are one million dollars and up. Um, I also was looking at a one hundred thousand dollars ENO insurance policy and compared it to the one million dollar policy and it was only like a fifty dollar difference. So I was like I might as well just get the higher amount and then the title companies that I work with actually require me to have a one million dollar ENO insurance policy. So that's how I actually decided on mine. Okay? The fourth thing that you are going to need is well you're not going to need this. It's not a must have, but it's highly, highly, highly recommended. And that is to form a business. Okay. The reason why I'm saying that is because you're starting a business, a loan signing agent, uh, business is a business. Okay. And there are so many different businesses out there. There's sole proprietor, LLC, partnership, S corp, C corp, etc. And how you determine on which business you should, should start really again depends on you um but i will tell you that most notary signing agents start in llc okay if you guys want more information on that just comment down below and i can definitely tell you guys what business i decided to start and my journey with that okay the fifth thing that is a must have is an EIN number. And this is actually kind of going back to the fourth one, which was to form a business. You have to have an EIN number, which is an employer identification number, is because we have to fill out this form called a W-9. And what it is is back actually just um, a form that we give to a company who is requesting our taxpayer identification number. And those two numbers can either be your social security number or your EIN number. Now, personally, I don't like giving my social security number out unless I absolutely have to. And the fact that I'm signing up with 50 plus companies and working with a lot of different title companies, I kind of don't want my social security number out there in so many people's hands, so many people looking at it. So I actually chose the option to get an EIN number. And if you form a business, you're automatically going to get an EIN number. So the next thing you are going to want to get is a separate bank account or a business bank account. And the main reason for that is simply because of taxes, okay? 
Um, I learned the hard way that it is very easy to get everything mixed up regarding your finances when it comes to your personal finances and your business finances, okay? And just to make your life easier, get a um, separate bank account or a business bank account. I will be making a future video on the business bank account that I chose to go with, but there are so many good business bank accounts out there, okay? The next thing you want to get is a platform that will help you organize your finances as a notary signing agent. And the platform that I highly recommend is Notary Gadget. Okay, it is very self-sufficient and also it is is based around notary so it helps you with to keep track of your signings and your payments and at the end of the year or actually every quarter when you do your taxes it um helps you stay organized because at the end it gives you a loss and pro a profit and loss sheet um all of your expenses etc etc the next thing that you want to get is actually marketing materials okay and there are subcategories that go under marketing materials uh, you should definitely start with business cards flyers I am going to make a future video on how I actually made my business card this is what my business card looks like and um, after you create your business card and flyers you definitely want to sign up with on Yelp and on Google and um, have social media based on your notary services okay you can start making videos on TikTok. you can uh, start a Facebook page you can start an Instagram but definitely start marketing your business and start getting marketing materials after getting your marketing materials I highly highly suggest you start finding a hotline or a community to help you along your notary signing agent business now I have a few communities that I ha that I'm with I am with the loan signing system family and that is the course that I went with and there is this amazing community and I have an amazing mentor Mark Wills and I also along with that I went with notary Academy which is owned by Laura and Kimberly and they are they basically offer services when you are conducting a signing or if you need help with the California um, law regarding notorial events etc and so I definitely recommend getting a com joining a community or obtaining some kind of hotline service I know that the NNA has in hotline service um, I know that it's in integrated in a lot of um, courses out there so definitely do that next thing that you want to get is I actually don't know what to call this it is professional miscellaneous things that I did for my business or I can I can call it admin work that's what I'll call it and that is basically setting up a professional email um, getting a website setting up email templates and for like when I think a signing service owner or someone who gives me a signing I will be making a video on all the professional miscellaneous admin things that I did for my business okay last but not least I would recommend you getting a support system for your notary signing agent business. I could not do this business without my loan signing system family and without my family alone, okay? When you're handling multiple signings in a day or if you're just run down from traveling so much and conducting um, so many signings, it can be very tiring or if like your printer is not working or uh, some your day is just not going, right you definitely want to rely and help someone that is close to you help you out and vent if you need to because sometimes this business does get stressful and tiresome so I definitely suggest you get a support system 
And that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, I'll put my social medias here on the screen. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.